Hello everyone, my name is Jetty Rushes and today I'm gonna take you guys to my project Katana. I just released this one and I have a lot of support and positive feedback on this one. Today I'm gonna show you how I make them and how I came up with the idea. First of all, I'm gonna tell you a little bit story of this one. I started this one about two months ago and I came up with the drop melody and I found it's really catchy. It stuck in my head quite a while and then I start writing my DAW. I wanted to do something different. By the time I listened to a lot of future web stuff and why not put together with big room that's how the idea started for anyone who haven't heard of this track i'll put the link on description make sure you check that out before you watch this video okay if you're ready let's get into it let's start with the pre drop vocal i got this one from spy so it's really cool sound like this Three. and then i have another sample from spy as well Three. so i put them together Three. And I have the reverse reverb as well. So I took the first part of this sample, put a lot of reverb and reverse them and put them before the sample and it sound like this. Three. For the first drop, let's start with a kick. I have the top kick from Asman. And then have a main kick. For the kick bass, I didn't do anything much on them because it's already processed by Asman. I use only OTT or 16% and then I have a mid bass. I made this one on silent, now like this. Then I put EQ, I cut the high frequency and low frequency and then I use OTT again. I use the wider to make sound wide and high chain. Together it sounds like this. For the next one I'm gonna show you is the sample that I use for the first drop. It's the bass sample from Spy. Original sound is like this. As you can hear it's a lot of low end. And I use OTT EQ cut everything from low frequency and then I use the delay. I use the ping pong to make it left and right so it sounds like this. For the next sample, I use uh, the bass. I found this one from Spy again. I put OTT low cut and boost this high mid frequency a little bit so it sounds like this for the next one i'm gonna show you the step it's the best sample that i cut the low frequency ott and the reverb another sound is coming with it i use the white noise when it play together sound like this and then i have the chorus the chorus that i use from silent is from kwu then i put ott eq to boost a high frequency a little bit and low cut and i use last overdrive as well to make the sound more detention and i use ozone imager to make sound a little bit wide for the second layer of the chorus i use the blaster jack chorus i think this one is from kwu pack as well yeah it's from kwu pack i use eq ott delay reverb Play together, it sounds like this. Then I have this uh, plug from Rocket Power Sound. It sounds like this. On top of that, I have rise and I have hi hat as well. And then I have the clap. And the last sound in the first drop that I use is lead fill. So this one from Silent, from preset name Ira and Chotak. Okay, that's it for the first drop. And then we go to the build up to second drop. Build up, I use a lot of sample. First, I use Kashmir long fill. And then kick. Riser and then the reverse effect and uplifter and then I have horn got some effect as well the clap and then I have pre drop lead I created this one by watch a tutorial on YouTube and I end up with this sound so it sounds like this it's the same lead on the second drop I'm gonna show you for this lead I cut the high frequency and I use OTT plus overdrive and reverb on the drop the lead that I use is feature wave style lead that I made in Serum and 
and I use OTT to process and I use EQ, low cut it, plus overdrive and I have another EQ, low mid frequency, then I have a reverb, of course sidechain. For the sidechain, I don't want to use much because it's gonna remove one of the nodes, so I put them around this, so it sounds like this. So the second layer, I use serum again. For this one, I turn up a lot of high frequency and low cut. Then I use the OTT plus overdrive. For this one, I use the wave sharper as well because I want the body lead. I have another EQ as well. I cut a little bit mid high frequency and I use the reverb, sidechain and the filter. For the last layer, I use serum again. This, for this last one, I use also 9 imager, EQ, OTT. 20x percent plus overdrive and I have another EQ to cut the low frequency reverb sidechain again and together it sounds like this for the second part of the drop I use sample it's like guitar sample or something I took them from spy I have another layer of the percussion as well, so it sounds like this. And another percussion that I use, it sounds like this. So when it's played together, it sounds like this. And for the second part of the drop, I add chords that I show you in the first drop. For this few lead, before the second part of the second drop, I use the same leads as I use in the drop. But I use the filter automation, so it sounds like this. So together, it sounds like this. the breakdown I got this piano from Sound Magic Neo Piano then I have the plug this one I call Asian string and I use the filter And then they have the violin, which is from, from Labs. And they have the pad from Serum. And then they have the plug cords. This one is from Serum. Then I have the bass. And I have the thumb up sword sample as well. When you swing the sword, it sounds like this. Together it sounds like this. For the next part, I'm gonna show you the lead saw on the break. Let me show you the bass first. For the bass, I use the same at the first part. And second bass, I made this one on Serum. And then I have the lead. One from a Serum as well. Yeah, it sounds really cool. For the second layer, I use the Serum, my preset. So sound together is like this. And then I have the cause. And under the layer, I use the plug from Serum. Together sound like this. Then I 
then come back on the build up again build up actually is the same as the first so i'm gonna skip it for the second drop i wanna do something different in my project that i never did before so i remove everything on the first egg boss now like this and after x bar everything is come back that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned from it this project is not really complicated but i think i got the catchy melody and new style that i combo with feature rave and i hope you guys like it thank you everyone who support katana and i hope to see you guys soon